good morning everyone ikama ngo terence uh, the surname is Mutaung. Uh, I'm the founder and owner of uh, Seven's Pit Bull and Bully Kennel. Uh, I've been breeding Ama Pits for the past 25 years now. Uh, yeah, actually 25 on the dot. Uh, throughout the years, obviously, needed to upgrade from um, Ama Red Nose your so-called cover bloodlines and polio and uh, spike and all of that um, into our blue lines now which is uh, what I'm currently breeding um, I know many people will argue <clears throat> in the Bayama bloodlines so to me bloodline it's something it's very debatable because if you were to look at your cover bloodlines or cover it's actually someone's surname so he named his bloodlines after his surname hence i'm calling my bloodlines seven's bloodline because my very first alpha male his name was seven so he's the producer of many dogs and many of my dogs that i had in the past so i decided to then use the name seven for my kennel and for my bloodlines I hope uh, I'm making sense, but yeah. And then obviously growing, uh, we ended up expanding our kennel into uh, getting uh, purpurs, uh, registered purpurs. So we will be breeding very soon. We have a registered female that is almost ready to produce. And then uh, we also ventured into um, uh, American bullies as well. So I like them pockets. Uh, bullies and standards. I didn't want to go as far as XLs because I believe for those I would need like a plot because I'm not a one dog man. So if I have dogs and I love them, I want to see myself having like 20, 40 dogs <laughs> at the most. So yeah, basically uh, that's just about us and uh, our kennel. And then we try by all means to follow the breeding standards uh, we read up a lot professionally i'm an it uh, engineer been doing it for over 20 years actually 23 years um, so i do a lot of researches i'm very passionate about the breed and uh, knowing the do's and don'ts knowing the advantages and disadvantages of uh, all breeds to be precise not only uh, the pit bulls and bullies and uh, the bull bulls. So yeah, uh, upon obviously my researches and all, I found out that uh, most pits, um, uh, they too hype and the aggression in them. We need to obviously breed to correct some of those old type of uh, bad behaviors, which now currently puts our breed in a wrong uh, uh, or in a bad picture to the community and hence i always say to people uh, do not blame the breed but blame the handler because these dogs it depends on how you groom them and it's not only about pit bulls it's also about any other breed out there you create a monster out of it you get a monster but you create a family dog out of it, then you get your very perfect pet. So yeah, basically uh, those are some of the things I wanted to obviously align and talk about. Um, what else? Okay, following the breeding uh, standards, uh, many dogs from back in the days, they were bred to have uh, defaults somehow. So. Your next breeding should be a breeding to correct a certain default. It could be a default physically on the uh, dog or a default be behavior. Uh, you need to obviously break that bad behavior or correct whatever default that the older dogs or older generation dogs had. So even with bullies, same with bullies, most of bullies uh, have their own specific defaults because 
uh, how they were bred. Some use Frenchies in them, some use Bulldogs in them. So the next breed uh, will be your most, or trying to correct whatever defaults that your previous or that your dog has. So in many instances, you uh, find that if you have a female with maybe back leg movement default, uh, you need to pair that female with your most correct male in order to correct the breed. So these breeds, they correct one another. Then you get a very squashed face or muzzle. Uh, you cannot be breeding with another squashed muzzle uh, pair or dog because you're producing all uh, muzzle squashed puppies or sort of. And those come with uh, like health issues and breathing difficulties and the lifespan uh, becomes shortened when you uh, do all those uh, incorrect breathings. So, yeah, but uh, I always uh, advise my people, always advise my customers. Uh, our kennel, we currently sitting with about 40, if I'm not mistaken, 45, 46,000 followers on our page and the page consists of not only locals or south africans but uh, we also have people who are following us from botswana all the way from swaziland uh, lesotho uh, we've shipped dogs actually uh, abroad a couple of times i have dogs that are in france as we speak that were bred personally by me and i do follow ups for those customers whom i can uh, visit I do house calls and visits just to check on the breed, to check how they are um, grooming these dogs, are they well taken care of and all that. As I'm one of the person or guys who do not promote uh, dog fights, so I'm very much against uh, dog fights, uh, which is wrong, it's just wrong, we, we, we're not promoting that. Uh, we are breeding mostly uh, your show dogs. So many of our dogs that comes from our breedings, um, they've taken uh, first prizes in many instances, many occasions. So in most cases, yeah, that's what we are known for. Uh, most of our dogs, uh, we, we're, breeding for, uh, we're breeding show dogs, uh, to be precise because um, in, in many cases, especially with pits, uh, it depends on what you, you, you want out of a pit. I know uh, some people are involved in some underground illegal uh, dog games, which I don't support. That is why I'm not even looking into breeding any kind of Frisco bloodlines, polio bloodlines, because those have those kind of fighting instinct with them so yeah that's basically what we are all about um, now venturing into bullies uh, obviously I'm still learning because I'm new in this industry of bullies but I'm slowly catching up I've had my first liter of bullies uh, 2020 December and the turnout on those dogs is actually really nice. I shipped some of them down to uh, Deben, KZN, the others in Pumalanga. I have a few here in Johannesburg. So the turnout is actually good. The customers are happy. Uh, now I have a new litter bred out of uh, Monster Police SA and uh, Dozimnandi Police. Uh, so I have some nice tricolor puppies that were born uh, two days ago. So yeah, basically that's just, uh, that's all about us.